So these ribs are from the very back portion of the back, and that's why they're so delicate and tender. So I'm just going to season these with some salt. And I've also got some pepper. Bless you. You knew I was pulling that pepper out. So whether you're doing it as it sets in the book to do it in an oven under the broiler, you want them almost all the way cooked before you start glazing them. You can also do them on a grill. I have um, my grill pan heating up. So we cook these about 30, 45 minutes, and then you start to glaze them. We have short ribs. Now, this is beef, okay? So these are beef short ribs, and these are actually off the bone. I am going to heat up in my Dutch oven just a little bit of oil. I've got my mirepoix. Let me check on this. So nice and brown. The bouquet garni, and then we're going to return our meat. In this recipe, what I traditionally use is I traditionally use vinegar because things, your mouth gets really happy when you have sour, salty, bitter, and sweet. Okay, so I normally use vinegar, but what I wanted to do this time instead, because Karen and Mark challenged me, was we're going to use the pomegranate juice. So I'm going to add a little bit of the Odoal pomegranate, all right, and then some wine, and then some beef stock. Hope y'all are hungry. How about that? Doesn't that look awesome? Yum. All right, so we've got all these bits and pieces, and we've got the carrots in here and the onion, and i got to find that bouquet garni. <laughs> these are the bourbon sweet potatoes. So instead of using the brown sugar in this dish, we're going to, ooh, we're going to um, use some of the Barks root beer. So I have the root beer and then butter. It's for all of you, but we're going to use some bourbon, too. All right? Yeah. Right, so some pepper and some salt, and then we're just going to pour over. Oop, didn't melt. It'll melt. I promise. So this, you don't even, I mean, look at that. That is so tender, so incredibly tender. That's just falling apart, which is what it's supposed to do. Yum. All right, so look how nice, it's nice and thick now, okay? Ooh. Any of that area that needs that long, slow cooking, you could substitute this. You could do this with a chuck roast. First thing I have, I'm just going to go ahead and set it aside. I have, now you can use Grand Marnier, or because I had the challenge, I'm going to use a little bit of Minute Maid um, orange juice. We're going to just drizzle over a little bit of the OJ and some sugar. And this is, of course, going to depend on how sweet the strawberries are. So I have um, some flour, some baking powder, sugar, salt. Now I have some cold, unsalted butter. And I'm going to add my milk and some milk and heavy cream. I'm going to pat that out. Now I'm going to brush with just a little bit of heavy cream. So I'm going to say some turbinado sugar. And we're just going to sprinkle it. And it, what's going to happen is they're going to bake and turn out absolutely beautiful. Aren't those pretty? Oh, Aren't those gorgeous? They look like little jewels. All right. Sorry. <laughs> That's my own kitchen kind of thing. And then I've got some heavy cream that I've whipped. All right. There we go, brown sugar shortcake. <laughs>